I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Winter Chill Beanie. And uh, this is the beanie here. I'll just zoom out a little bit for you. This is a beanie that is made with a super bulky weight yarn, a number six yarn. For mine, I have used the a uh, yarn called Chill by Sugarbush. That's this yarn here. It's uh, sort of a roving yarn, so it's very loosely spun. And uh, it is a super bulky weight. This one is a 100% wool, but you're welcome to use an, an acrylic or another wool blend. Uh, it just has to be a super bulky weight, so have that number six there on the label. So I'm using uh, the Sugarbush Chill. It requires about one and a half balls of that, so about 75 yards of the super bulky weight yarn in total. You're also going to need two crochet hooks for this pattern. Now you're going to need an eight millimeter crochet hook for the brim of the hat, and you're going to need a 10 millimeter for the body. Uh, and I will explain why when we get to the pattern. You'll also need a yarn needle for weaving in your ends and a copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll provide the link there for you in the notes for this video for the written pattern, as well as for the yarn and crochet hooks that I've used in this video. Now the hat is comprised, it's worked from the bottom up to the top. The bottom is worked in rows, which is uh, made with a simple slip stitch ribbing. Then the body of the hat is made up of a closed uh, shell stitch or solid shell stitch. So that's the pattern that we are going to work today. The hat works up very quickly, uh, maybe two hours, simply because of that super bulky weight yarn. And it's a fairly simple pattern to catch on to. So why don't you grab your hook and your yarn and we're going to learn how to crochet this winter chill beanie. If you are new to this channel or you haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, this channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So today for the hat, as I mentioned, we're going to work from the bottom up to the top. So we're going to start at the brim. The brim of the hat is worked in rows. So you're going to take your yarn, make your slip knot, and using your eight millimeter crochet hook, you're going to start by chaining four. I used the eight millimeter crochet hook for the brim because it makes it a little bit sturdier and your stitches a little bit tighter. So I feel like the brim of the hat holds its shape a little bit better when you're using the smaller needle. So once you've chained four stitches into the second chain from your hook, so count in one, two, I like to work into the back bump of, uh, of my chain stitches. So into that second chain from your hook, you're going to work a slip stitch, and then into each chain all the way across. So you're going to have a total of three slip stitches. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to be working into the back loop only from here on end for the rest of the brim. To find your back loop, you're going to take a look at the top of your stitch. This is the top of my slip stitches. I have my chain stitch here, so this is not the stitch. I'm not going to count that. But then if I look at all these other ones, you see this V up top, your back loop is the horizontal bar that is the farthest away from you. So you're going to work under that loop only. So into that first stitch and each stitch all the way across in the back loop only, you're going to slip stitch. You will continue to have three stitches in your rows, chain one, turn your work. You're going to then repeat that in the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Chain one and turn your work. You're going to repeat that row 
until the brim of your hat measures approximately 19 inches or the desired length. I find that at about 19 inches, it has a nice stretch to it. So it's going to uh, stretch to a 20 or 21 inch circumference for your hat. Okay, so continue. Repeat that row until it measures about 19 inches and then meet me back here. Now, once you have the brim of your hat to the desired length, you're going to have something like this, and you can see that it has quite a bit of stretch, it's, uh, and uh, it's holding its shape quite nicely. You're then going to take your two ends, we're going to bring the two shorter ends together, so there is no need to fasten off at the end of your final row. And we're now going to just simply crochet a seam. What you're going to do is you've chained one. You're going to insert your hook into the back loop only of that first side, into the back loop only of the second side, and slip stitch all the way across. So you'll have three slip stitches again. So there's one, working again under the back loop only. There's two, and one more. This one's a little trick here to find. Yeah, I'll go under there. Three. Once you have slip stitch across, you're going to turn it right side out chain one and we're now going to start the body of the hat. You're going to continue working with your eight millimeter crochet hook for this first round. We're now going to work in rounds and you're going to be working along this long edge of your brim. You're going to find that there's no sort of easy place to place your hook. Uh, so you're just going to kind of uh, insert your hook into the brim of the hat where you find it most comfortable. What we're going to do is we're going to work 42 half double crochet stitches all the way around this long end of the brim. So you've chained one, you're going to work then 42 half double crochet stitches all the way around. You're going to want them to fall fairly evenly so if it helps I would place a stitch marker about halfway around and uh, then you can place 21 stitches on one side and 21 stitches on the other. It just makes it a little bit easier to count. So go ahead, work 42 half double crochet stitches all the way around and meet me back here. Once you have worked your 42 stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet. You're then going to set your eight millimeter aside, pick up your 10 millimeter crochet hook and place it uh, through the loop. You're then going to start round two. So using your 10 millimeter crochet hook, we're going to start round two. You're going to start round two by chaining one and then into the same stitch that you joined you're going to work one single crochet stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, and into that next stitch you're going to work a shell stitch. Your shell stitch is made up of five double crochet stitches. So skip two and work one shell. There's one, Double crochet all into the same stitch, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and into the next stitch, work one single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat. Skip the next two stitches, work one shell stitch, Skip two stitches 
and work a single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around uh, back to your first single crochet stitch and then join with a slip stitch. When you return to your first single crochet stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the first stitch and you're not going to turn your work. We're now going to start uh, this round three by working a partial shell here, sort of a beginning shell. You're going to chain three and you're going to work two double crochet stitches into that same stitch as joining. So there's one and two. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and into the next stitch, which is actually that third double crochet stitch in your first shell. So into that third double crochet, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. Skip the next two stitches and into the next single crochet, work one shell stitch. That's your five double crochets. three, the ball is closing on me, four, and five. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. When you return to your first chain three, you will have worked your single crochet into that third double crochet of the shell below. When you come to that chain three, you're going to work two more double crochet stitches into the same chain, uh, into the same stitch as that chain stitch. So down into that first stitch, work two double crochet stitches. and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. You're then ready to work rounds four through to six and rounds four through to six are simply a repeat of your round two and your round three. So you're doing three more row rounds essentially of these shell stitches. The first, uh, the next round, your round four, starting with the single crochet, uh, skip the next two stitches, and then work a shell stitch into that single crochet. And then uh, your row three that started with your chain three and two more double crochets. So you're going to repeat rounds two and three once more, and then repeat round two one final time and that is going to give you five rounds of shell stitches then meet me back here and we will start our decrease rounds okay at the end of round six you should have something that looks like this you're going to have your one two three four five rounds of cluster stitches you've joined with a slip stitch into your first single crochet we're now going to start our decrease rounds and our decrease rounds are worked using cluster stitches and single crochet stitches so for your first uh, cluster you're going to work a beginning cluster stitch for this stitch you're going to chain two you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that one more time into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two. You'll have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your beginning cluster. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet into that third double crochet. Skip two stitches and then into the next single crochet stitch you're going to work a full cluster stitch. To work your full cluster you're going to yarn over, 
insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook one more time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Once you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your full cluster. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet stitch in the next. You're now going to repeat all the way around. Skip the next two stitches, work a full cluster into the next single crochet, Skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning cluster. I am just joining with a slip stitch in the top of my beginning cluster, like so. For round eight, you're going to work a beginning cluster, so chain two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, repeat that one more time, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're then going to skip the single crochet stitch and work a full cluster into the top of the next cluster. and you're going to repeat. So this time there'll be no single crochet stitches worked in between. You're simply skipping the next single crochet and working a full cluster into the top of the next stitch. two more clusters here to work, so I'm just going to continue working around. And once you're back at your first cluster, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top. You're now ready for your final round, your round nine, and we're just going to close in. You'll have an opening at the top of your hat. We're just going to close it in a little bit more. So for round nine, you're going to chain one, and you're simply going to single crochet in the top of each cluster all the way around. You should have seven single crochet stitches. You're then going to join with a slip stitch in that top stitch and you can fasten off leaving a long tail. So This is what your work will look like. You're then going to take your yarn needle thread your yarn through it and we're going to use this long tail to sew the top of our hat closed. You'll have your opening there. To sew mine closed I simply wove my yarn in and out through the top round of single crochet stitches. So I'm just weaving in and out creating a little bit of a drawstring. sure you pull it tight and once you've gone all the way around you are going to pull it tight and then you're going to push your needle through to the inside of your hat and you're going to fasten off
I like to make a little bit of a knot to make sure that it's nice and, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> make sure that it's nice and secure. And then I'm just going to weave in my ends. Go ahead and weave in any other ends that might be showing there. Clip off your tails and there you are. That is the end of your winter chill beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.